Destiny, Rise of Iron, How to Dominate Supremacy. As you all know, Supremacy is the new game mode on here. It's pretty cool. It's basically good old kill confirmed from good old Call of Duty. There's a few small things. One, <laughs> the dog tags or crests, whatever you want to call them, the things that look like engrams actually roll around. So, he, like it, if you kill a guy like on a slope or something, it'll uh, roll down. So, <laughs> it'll be a little bit displaced, but you don't have to worry about that because... Instead of like in Call of Duty where it shows you all of the tags like on your minimap, no. Here it shows you like, like kind of like a wall hack, kinda. But it shows you the cr the crest and not like the person that you killed. Which is actually pretty cool because it helps you out on the actually, uh, like you know all the play styles. Defensive, offensive, flanker, uh, you know all that. Hopefully. There's this new one which is only introduced in Kill Confirmed or Supremacy, something like that. Which is, I should say, the vacuum cleaner. Basically, you run around and clean up after your teammates. Uh, your teammates get a kill, run over there and grab their tags and claim the kill. <laughs> yeah. It, if you actually get good at that, you can probably uh, run around with every single kill of all the team. I, I don't know if you can do that though. Yeah, but you'll be claiming all of the things so you can finish up with that one mission called the glory and the taking of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Also, obviously use the recommended weapons. Like here I'm using the Kvostov and actually kind of the new version of the Party Crasher even though it's more of a conspiracy theory because of the rate of fire and also and also the smidge smidge less range no, well that's just for my role but yeah uh, also you might need to sharpen up on your skills you uh, might as well look at some of my tactical tip videos down below or, or how to rank up your KD uh, because that can help a lot because when you dim it down it's always about the gunfights if you're in a 1v1, well, it's kind of 50-50, unless you know a little bit more about your weapon, or even the one that the enemy is using. Like, if you see, like, three bullets, or, like, three hit marks, on, or, like, like your health gets chopped three times, wait for it, three times, and stuff like that, and like, okay, he's using a pulse rifle, you gotta get him in his face so it gets a little bit hectic. Or, you know, you're using a sniper, and you're flinching all over the place, oh no, scout rifle, get out my... Uh, my heavy if I have it, or, uh, <laughs> or, or, like, your hand cannon or something, or just run away. Which comes us to our next tip. Know when to run away. I know you're probably doing a montage about you sniping, like, a hammer or something, but that's not gonna come very easily. <laughs> like, that, like, the only few times I snipe supers is, like, storm trance, uh, well, storm trance, one hammer, storm trance, more storm trance, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. <laughs> the, and also, uh, you gotta think twice when uh, when you're trying to snipe a nova bomb. <laughs> that's just not a very good choice there. Then also, flank is an flanking is another huge factor because like people like to. Uh, sometimes in maps make them like group up in one sort of area called a hotspot and if you can use this hotspot and control it so like everybody wants to go there but you're defending it so yeah or you, you can flank it multiple times and try to uh, get the people that are like just going in there or they're surviving in that hot spot or it comes to using your super correctly. Like here, had a little bit of a oopsie. He's an on a regular guy, and then I I heard a hammer right next door, and the <laughs> and the shadow shot timer ran out. <sighs> yeah, mistakes mistakes are made, but sometimes mistakes are good because we learn from them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, also you gotta be careful when getting a 1v2 like here I actually get lucky because a teammate happened to weaken the second guy a little bit and uh, yeah 
And, and also be aware, yeah, even with the weakest of supers, like a self-res. Why? Sticky grenades. Those things are crazy. And also be watch out for wombo combos. Yeah, mostly use your, uh, how do you call it? If you're a titan, probably use your uh, uh, sidestep, your uh, special armor piece. I forget its name. Um, anyway. And then also with the hunter, you can sh uh, shade step. And also with the warlock, hopefully you're using uh, a void walker so you can blink out. But then also, uh, like with the other void class, uh, other uh, how do you call it, warlock classes, you can like uh, pop your super, uh, like ionic blink, or uh, just die and then self res. <laughs> but that's mostly it. So see, it? Uh, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop a comment. I'll see you guys later for another video on the channel. I.